Crabman from Crabman Gaming here. Today I am playing WWE SmackDown. Here comes the pain, the season mode. With The Rock, it is part seven. We're up to week three on the road to bad blood. The Rock is the WWE champion defending against Undertaker and Brock Lesnar in a triple threat. Uh, let's play these two SmackDowns and the pay-per-view. I'm still a bit nervous about talking to people in the corridor because they generally want to wrestle in the back stage area. But here's Big Vinny Mac. Do you want to see me about something? Ooh, how are you today, sir? Yes. He or Rock has got to suck up to the boss. The Rock, do you know I've reached such a high... Oh, how? I can't even read. Just had an ice cream. It scrambled my brain. The Rock, do you know how I've reached such a high level of success? Because I have ruthless aggression. That's what you lack the most. So if you're planning on just kissing my ass, then get the hell out of here. Oh, made him mad. What's the superstar point? Anyway, you can find me on Facebook at Crabman Gaming, on Twitter at Crabman Gaming. If you comment, I will comment below. Love a like, and if you subscribe, that is absolutely amazing. Other than that, that's the end of the shields. And let's just enjoy Angle Austin for the US title. It's like Austin's gone back to 1992 WCW. And the, oh, it's not victorious. Angle wins. Ray and Lita against Charlie Haas and Sable. Random. And Rock versus Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle already had a match. Having another match. Gee, we face Kurt Angle a lot in this series. Oh, young Randy. Look at him. No tattoo. Well, very few tattoos. Here comes Kurt. We don't need to watch the entrance. We've seen it a few times. Videos 1, 2, and 3 if you want to see. And here he is, the current WWE Champion, The Rock. Wearing the title. Alright, Kurt okay, rolls me up straight away. Torture rack, torture rack straight away on Kurt Angle. Looked like it was the start of, uh, of the Olympic Slam. Oh, low blow, come on, ref. I know I'm supposed to be the heel, but that was just a blatant low blow. Let's hit one back, boom, straight in the knackers. Take that, Kurt. Hopefully you've been doing well, subscribers. Sorry about the other day as well. If uh, you're expecting one of these videos, I actually had uh, the internet out for a day and a half and I generally upload these videos overnight. And then the upload failed twice so I scrambled together a quick Hell in a Cell match and that had to do until I could get back on track with these videos. Sometimes that happens, I do my best to bring you a video every two days, sometimes it doesn't always happen, you know, life gets in the way. Your internet goes down because it is Australia and our internet is very average indeed. Unless you were lucky enough to get fibre to the premises. I fortunately didn't. I got what is called hybrid fibre coaxial, which means the internet goes through old cable TV, um, well, cabling. Oh, beautiful axe handle. Which was built in the 90s and that's how I get my high speed internet. High speed I'm using with inverted commas. Which it could be worse, it could be worse. Could be better, could be better, could be worse. So, yeah, these videos do upload eventually, but not as fast as probably some other uh, YouTubers and streamers around the world. I have to make do with what I've got. No, that wasn't the, that wasn't the move I was looking for. So we haven't really seen much of Undertaker in this feud. We've seen a lot of Brock Lesnar. We haven't seen much of, of Undertaker, even though it's a triple threat match. I've chosen a triple threat match because maybe there'll be some... a scenario where I might not win. Oh, crossbody while he's on the floor. I probably should have, I probably should have learned the moves by now. Wrestling Kurt on SmackDown again. G Kurt on SmackDown in 2002 was just immense. In 2003, some epic matches with Brock Lesnar and the Big Show. He's a big, big power bomb. Kind of want to work the neck just a little bit more. There we go. Package pile driver. Poor Kurt's broken neck. Reverse 
reversal by Kurt. Ref's not even watching. Is that enough? Boom! Very nice indeed. I do in intend to play through all these games as well. Kurt's probably going to kick out here. He's only yellow. Two. Is that enough on Kurt? Oh, deep kick out. Or well, maybe we can give him the, the torture rack. Nice suplex into the ropes. Ooh, they rock slower to get up. Let's do the torture rack. An angle, the countering machine. Oh, it's a low blow again. Boom, I thought it was a torture act. Down, up, down, boom, DDT. There we go, torture act time. Oh, it's probably too far away to get the submission. Watching, you can tell me your favourite Kurt Angle match below. I'm trying to think of mine. That the Iron Man match against Brock Lesnar definitely up there. There's no way out. 2000 and something where he wrestles the Undertaker. I want to say tribute to Rikishi here. Boom! Oh, I love the little hip wiggle as well. I can't remember. I've forgotten what year that is. Maybe. 2004, 5? Anyway, Undertaker, Kurt Angle, no way out. That's a match you definitely have to see. An interesting, um, hopefully you've watched far enough to, to comment about this as well, but I want your thoughts on The Rock appearing at Bound for Glory, inducting Ken Shamrock into the TNA Hall of Fame. I mean, who saw that coming? That's that's going to be just ridiculous. But good of The Rock to do it as well. All right, people's elbow time. Or maybe after put him in the middle of the ring. It's actually done it. Fair few counters. Oh, nice scissors kick. The Albert kick. Good DDT. I think he needs to be facing up to do the the people's elbow. Maybe we'll just give him another rock bottom in the center of the ring. Beautiful elevation. That's all she wrote for Kurt. It was quite a long match on SmackDown. To be fair, Kurt had already wrestled. Didn't come to the ring with any damage. That was a bit unrealistic. Especially facing Steve Austin. Nice choke slam, choke slam there for the big show on Rey Mysterio. Struggling to get the words out. To get a comment on one of the other videos that said, you talk too much. And I was like, thanks. After his match, Rock is heading back to the locker room. He'll defend the title at Bad Blood. But oh, here comes the Undertaker. Out of nowhere. It's Taker. Taker is assaulting the champ. He can't wait until the title match. This is an outrage. Rock was taken completely by surprise. He couldn't do anything. Outrageous. To make Kurt do a double duty. Oh, look, my superstar points are 99 anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, fourth week, and then let's get to bad blood on this video. What's happening here at the start of this SmackDown? Who's backstage? Oh, Rey Mysterio! These are cool, but just please don't be a match. Hey, Rock, what's up? No, <laughs> let's have a match! No! Oh, let's be mean. Sure, when people look at me and you, they see a big size difference. Size isn't everything, man. No, not a match. Yeah, keep talking. I'll be seeing you around. Good. That was a bit mean, but, uh, but fair. World's greatest tag team against Batista and Ric Flair. Cena versus Edge. We haven't seen Cena yet. Rock and Jericho against Brock and The Undertaker. Tornado tag. I do like a good tornado tag. Shelton and Charlie still the champ. Cena, Edge. They had some good feuds. That was a table match. Which Edge won. Brock Jericho, Brock Undertaker. I think we've seen this match before. But Tornado Tag will be more interesting. There's the Sheriff of Raw. Steve Austin. Do have another video of Here Comes the Pain you can check out. I did the Armageddon 
Six way hell in the cell. He's up on his bike. He's got the You Gotta Pay music. Wow, you to think you can just walk away. Ah, we'll watch his full entrance on the pay per view. Well, here comes the pain. We'll skip that for now. Here's Y2J, Le Champion. I am cold like December snow. I have carved out this soul made of stone. Now I go any further. Ah, oh, little teaser. All the games, the D-pad. Bit easier for moving. Who, who do I want? Oh, I took out my own partner. Rock and Jericho is one of my favourite matches ever. No Mercy 2001. Putting a beating on me early. No. Undertaker. I think there should be more tornado tags. I know they'd be, they'd be quite difficult to, to plan and to fly. Very hard to do like a beatdown in a tornado tag. You know, no sense of peril or, or ability to get a hot tag. But I find them pretty exciting. Good to play in these games as well. Let's focus on tag. I focus on the neck. Which ironically, I, I put a lot of moves for the neck. And then his finishes are really moves to the body. We'll keep working on the head. Nice running drop kick from Rocky. Let's do a taunt. Taunt the dead man. Or biker taker as he is in this era. Nice choke bomb. Yeah, I've stolen a lot of Albert's moves. There's a choke bomb. The bro kick. Oh, body punches. Jericho's got a Walls of Jericho on. Is that one of his finishes? Oh, I think it's just... One of his normal moves, but it is his finisher as well. Keep working on Taker. Sharpshooter. Yeah, I think I was talking about this before. Someone, someone posted uh, under one of the videos, under one of the cricket videos, and I said, "You talk too much," and I, I thought that's that's kind of the point of doing these videos. Is not just to have them. Playing with no sound. It's really my thoughts on the game, what's happening, my reactions. Oh, torture act. Another submission on Taker. Can I just let him go? I don't think you I don't think you can really. I must let him escape. Be interesting to see what storyline uh, we have next. After this bad blood, what pay per view comes next? Is it King of No, not King of the Ring, SummerSlam? They've got they've got rid of King of the Ring by this point. I think it's SummerSlam. Yeah, I reckon it definitely is SummerSlam after Bad Blood. But 2003 was a bit weird. Where they, I used to know all the pay per views off by heart. It used to be. Just really simple to remember. You have Royal Rumble, No Way Out, WrestleMania. Then you went into Backlash and Judgment Day. King of the Ring. SummerSlam. Unforgiven, No Mercy, Survivor Series. And then Armageddon. It was just really simple to remember. And they just made it really confusing, adding in Bad Blood. And I know they changed it in 2001 because they had Invasion. They kind of got rid of Fully Loaded. It was really easy to remember, then they start adding in like, you know, Great American Bash and Bad Blood, and it just got really confusing. I really want to be doing moves on The Undertaker here. Why have I swapped? Why have I swapped people? Spine Buster, Spine on the Pine, as JR would say. Again, I know I recommend it uh, every video, but I do listen to Grilling JR with obviously Jim Ross and Comrade Thompson. And I do recommend his book, Under the Black Hat. It was a really enjoyable read. And, and not a long read as well. Sometimes you can go into books and think, gee, this is just too long on a little bit of light entertainment. They're broken up into quite short chapters, about 280 pages. So a uh, nice, comfortable read. Whereas if you're reading something like Bret Hart's book, I think that's about 700 plus. So it's been a few years since I 
Red Threat Hut book. Should have given, given Brock the people's elbow. Jericho's got a finisher as well. Oh yes, pin him while he's in the walls of Jericho. One, two, three, yes! And a tap out. Double win, double win. No, there wasn't a tap out, I just pretended there was. Alright, yes, we're up to bad blood. I wonder if we should transfer to Raw. Maybe after Survivor Series. Maybe on the road to WrestleMania. Win the big gold belt. These guys are ruthless. Double suplex, the most devastating move in wrestling. They've joined forces before Bad Blood. I thought Bad Blood had two Bs in the name. Maybe I'm just making that up in my head. Did it? Isn't there anyone to stop them? Where did Jericho go? Bad Blood is going to be the perfect name for this matchup this Sunday. Too many thises. Alright. Over to Bad Blood. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, okay. So I, I looked it up really quickly. The first Bad Blood, Bad Blood in Your House, um, was two Ds, and the other singular events just had one D, like the logo there. Okay, Bad Blood coming from Columbus, Ohio. It is Rock, Brock, Taker in a triple threat. That would have been a tasty triple threat. There was a Rock Brock Triple H WWE title main event at the Global Warning Tour in Australia. Anyway, missing the bottom. Competition in its purest form. You'll be carried out of that ring. Rock is enraged. Enough force to cause a permanent injury with the end of Gurry from Brock Lesnar. He's looking for revenge. Oh, I love his finisher. Two, three forces will collide. The time has come for a conclusion. We've edited Undertaker out of this video. Who will survive? Maybe he has. There's a report coming from the arena. The Undertaker suffering from elevated liver enzymes and will be unable to compete tonight. But old Jim Rock, Sassafras. Excuse me, Rock. As a commentator, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but I'm rooting for you. I know you can win. I'm counting on your chant. One extra SmackDown special, yes! That is awesome. Thank you, JR. I'll promote your book again. Buy Under the Black Hat by Jim Ross. Now, I'm not... Oh, I don't want a match with Booker T. Alright, alright. Let's see what he's got. Sucker! What are you looking at, dog? Rock, you don't want none of Booker T. You're not a superstar, you're an entertainer. Don't insult Booker T, dog. You should know Booker T is the... Five time! Five time! Five time, five time, five time, WCW champion. Oh, they took WCW out. Do you want to wrestle me? What do you think the rock stands for? The way I see it, you're just a little punk. Now, can you dig that, soccer? The best part is I didn't have to wrestle him unless he's blindsiding me now. Soccer! Amazing. I love his dress and his gear, he probably doesn't have a match. Oh, you got dissed by Booker. Do you know what? It's worth it. It was worth it. Absolutely worth it. All right, let's start the event. Who's on the card? Bubba and Devon against Big Show and A-Train. Christian, Kane, Booker T. Oh, at least he has a match. Triple threat IC title. And then another triple threat match. Rock, Lesnar, Undertaker. Big Show and A-Train, your new World Tag Team Champions. Christian Kane Booker. I reckon Kane's going to win. Oh, Kane lost to Christian. And now Rock Brock Undertaker. Alright, no DQs. That's interesting. I wonder if I can get a weapon. I might do that. I might, might cheat a little bit. Get a weapon and see what's under the ring. Alright, full entrance this time. Here he comes. Man walking. Done it now. You've gone and made a big mistake. This is the 2003 Bad Blood setup. Here it comes, the challenger. Oh, I need to do the ring entrances. The following contest is a triple threat match for the WWE Championship. 
making his way to the ring, weighing in at 328 pounds from Death Valley, The Undertaker. Never ever be the same. Here he comes. He's ready. Raising the roof. He's not rolling anymore. But you're gonna pay. Well, here comes the pain. Here he is. The Beast Incarnate. Same music from 17 years ago. Here he is. Brock. Le oh, I haven't introduced him either. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing in at 275 pounds. Brock Lesnar. He's looking pumped. He's looking ready. Look at those pecs. I'm envious, and it's even a game, but they are enormous. He's ready as Brock. He's ready to become champion once again. Undertaker hiding under the ring. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The People's Champion, the WWE Champion, The Rock. Stand tall. Not the first time he's defended the championship in a triple threat match. If you go back to SummerSlam 2000, it was Rock defending against Triple H and Kurt Angle was also involved in a triple threat at the Global Warning Tour in Australia, September 2002. The Rock defended against Brock Lesnar and Triple H there as well. Did indeed. 74,000 people there. Crabman nearly went, didn't have the funds. Well, actually, I do think I had the funds. It, it was just, I remember it was like $750 a ticket. It was brutally expensive. Plus, I'd have to fly to Sydney and then also find someone to go with. So, yeah, I think it was It's going to cost nearly $2,000 to go to one show. So, All right, it's going to be really interesting here, bro. You know what is actually really interesting? I actually... Oh, yeah. I thought I couldn't get out of the ring. But I can. Boom. Take that, Brock. Put him on the announce desk. Oh, no. Take his coming for me. Brutal spine buster on the on the chair on the edge of the table. This is where this match can get quite tricky. Oh, time to play the game! Oh no, I dropped it. Out with the sledgehammer. A couple of finishes already. Falling on the outside, big boot by Undertaker. I want to try and put someone through the announce desk, can I? Just say, do I have to take the stuff off? I don't think I do. Lots of brawling on the outside to start. Brock, Seth Rollins, and John Cena. That is a fantastic triple threat as well. I'm pretty sure it's John Cena in it. I just remember Brock and. Brock and Seth Rollins. I'm, I'm pretty sure John Cena is the third man. What did they do on with Kane as well? I've kind of lost track. Too many matches. Fishling, these two go at it. Chair for Undertaker, chair for Brock. Oh no. Oh no. Waffled me with a chair. Oh, that's bad. You do a SmackDown finisher on the chair. Rock's on with the least damage at the moment. I 
dangerous these triple threat matches. Tilt a well back break up from Rocky. I'm gonna try and put Rocky through the table with a rock bottom. I'm sure we can. Pick him up, here we go. Yes. Amazing. Through the table. Oh no, the waffle by the chair again. Gee, head's on orange, which is which is really worrying. Trying to run away. Worried about Undertaker with this chair. Run away, run away. Oh no. He's got me. Can't block the chair. Can't seem to block the chair shot. Come on, Brock. Save me, Brock. Right, time for some revenge. I want to do a smackdown on the chair. The Undertaker have a finisher from behind. I think it was that weird dragon sleeper, the TCB, the taking care of business. I think it's time to put Undertaker in a torture rack. Very worried for my championship here. I seem to have taken the most damage. Oh no! I definitely reversed that. I hit the reverse. I hit the reverse. Huge last ride. Oh, it's all going wrong for Rock. I'm in the red. Brock could pin me, but he's got a chair. I've got two finishers, I probably should use them. Don't know why Brock didn't use a finisher there. Come on, Rock, get up, get up. That's it. Waffle Brock with the chair. I can't seem to counter. Maybe counters you have to do the um, L2 for counter with a chair. I'm uh, kind of doing the grapple, the grapple counter. Brock's got three finishes. This match is this match is degenerating. Oh, no. Oh, Van Daminator! Quick rock bottom on Taker. Hurry up. Boom, pin Undertaker. This could be all. One, two, Van Daminator and a rock bottom, that's it. Yes, Rock's retained. I was very worried. Taunt, 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 definitely torn after this. Not attacking, taunting. What a victory. Back was against the wall. Rock is still the champion. Where's the title belt? Taker was down. I'm surprised he didn't get busted open with that Van Daminator. Or Van Terminator. No, that's the Van Daminator. The Van Terminator is that coast to coast one. Here we go. Rock signature pose. Here he is flicking the title over his shoulder. The great one. The people's champion. That's it. Get the camera jib around. What a superstar. What a legend.